Contrary to popular misconception, Nikola Tesla's actual wireless transmission system did not rely on transmitting energy through the air using radio waves. Instead, he proposed a system that leveraged the natural conductive properties of the Earth. Tesla's ingenious design sent ultra-high voltage alternating currents into the ground, not radio waves through the air. Additionally, it's important to note that Tesla's concept of wireless electrical transmission is often sensationalized into notions of limitless power. However, Tesla himself never claimed that his system would create energy out of nothing. Instead, it was a method for transmitting energy from one place to another without the need for wires. Tesla's system was grounded by the drive for scientific, practical, and transformative solutions not in the world of science fiction. His idea was to use the Earth as a giant conductor, with a transmitter sending electrical currents into the globe and a receiver pulling them out elsewhere. Now let's delve into one of Nikola Tesla's lesser understood yet revolutionary ideas, the concept of transmitting electrical power using a single wire without requiring a return circuit. Such a concept stands as a significant cost-saving measure, with the potential to redefine power transmission systems worldwide. We now send energy through wires, because right. you're not standing in the way of the wire. The wire is buried. The wire has insulation. It would the have some sort of High effect. suspension. In the late 19th century, the prevailing form of electrical transmission was the direct current DC system. However, the DC system had its limitations, notably its inefficiency in delivering high power over extended distances. Tesla's introduction of alternating current AC systems allowed for the stepping up of voltage and stepping down of current to drastically reduce ohmic loss. This innovation has driven the vast majority of energy transmission since its inception. He proposed using an alternating current generator to push low voltage, high current into a step up transmission. Transformer. This would produce high voltage, low current for transmission across wires. The high voltage, low current would then be adjusted via a step-down transformer at the destination, yielding a manageable low voltage, high current output for everyday use. This AC system overcame the barriers of high current related losses intrinsic to the DC systems, enabling power transmission over longer distances with much less energy loss. Yet, traditional AC systems typically required two wires for transmission. Tesla, ever the innovator, deemed the second wire super superfluous and a wasteful expense. He endeavored to find a method to transmit power efficiently using only one wire, thereby eliminating the need for a return wire. By potentially utilizing Earth itself as this single wire, the limitations of distance and infrastructure may become things of the past. It is upon us, the generations that follow, to recognize the brilliance in Tesla's simplified complexity and to realize the untapped potential that it holds. Hear me. Hear this? We the people was not written for the rich and the powerful, but for all the people. In order to establish justice and secure the blessings of liberty, do ordain and declare our energy independence. These words, they must apply to everyone or they mean nothing. Do you understand? I fully understand the name Kirk. In our current electrical distribution systems, we often face challenges tied to cost, efficiency, and safety hazards. The conventional method of using multiple high-voltage conductors for the power grid can be quite expensive. Not to mention, these systems can be inefficient, particularly in rural areas and regions where the distribution of electricity is a challenge. High-voltage direct current or HVDC power transmission systems are sometimes used to address these issues using the ground as a second conductor. However, they too have their own limitations, such as the need for careful electrode placement to prevent electrochemical corrosion and the hazard of earth voltage potential rise. But fret not, as there's a system that addresses these limitations, the single wire earth return or SWEAR. So, what exactly is this SWEAR and how does it work? Well, SWEAR is an ingenious system that saves costs in AC electrical distribution by using just one high voltage conductor for the power grid. Yes, you heard it right, only one. The AC return current is cleverly routed through the earth, hence the term earth return. Now you might wonder how we connect to the Earth. The answer is through what we call buried grounding electrodes. These are strategically placed into the ground to make the connection to the Earth. You see, Swear is a bit like the unsung hero of electrical distribution, particularly in rural areas where large Earth currents won't pose hazards. It's a cost-effective and efficient way of getting power to places where traditional systems might struggle. But it's not just rural areas that benefit. Some high-voltage direct current power transmission systems, especially those with submarine cables, use the ground and water as a second conductor. That's because seawater is an excellent conductor, making it perfect for this kind of application. Now, it's important to note that this system isn't without its challenges. For example, a particular concern in the design of electrical substations is the Earth's ground voltage potential rise. The area around the current injection point may rise to a high voltage potential with respect to distant points. This is due to the resistance of the layers of soil in the Earth 
around a transmitter, creating a voltage gradient that can pose a hazard. Let's further explore some of these hazards and potential solutions. One of the main hazards is the risk of earth voltage potential rise. When large currents are injected into the earth at the surface, the area around the injection point may rise to a high voltage or potential compared to points around the transmitter. This is because the typical mid to high voltage ranges currently used, in conjunction with the limited conductivity of the soil, creates dramatic decreases in voltage with distance conducted. Now imagine this, the voltage gradient or the change in voltage across the distance to the injection point might be so high that different points on the ground could be at significantly different voltage potentials that current can flow between these two potentials. This creates a hazard for anyone standing on the earth in an area of the transmitters that is insufficiently insulated. Pipes, rails, or communication wires entering a substation could see different ground potentials inside and outside the substation, creating a dangerous touch voltage for unsuspecting persons who might touch these objects. But don't worry, we have a solution to this. An equipotential bonding plane with low impedance is created within the substation in accordance with IEEE 80. This bonding plane eliminates voltage gradients and ensures that any fault is cleared within three voltage cycles. On the other hand, we have step voltage. This is the potential difference between the feet of a person standing near an energized grounded object. It's equal to the difference in voltage, given by the current flowing between the feet times the resistance of the earth represented by two resistive voltage dividers. The step voltage could also cause electrical shock if it exceeds safety limits. So, when we talk about hazards and swear, we are essentially discussing the dangers of high touch and step voltages. Tesla strongly believed in the potential of the Earth to act as a conductor and spent a significant part of his life experimenting with this idea. He envisioned a world where electricity could be freely transmitted without the need for extensive infrastructure. Contrary to popular belief, Tesla's wireless system was not through the air. He tried this approach but found it unfeasible due to dispersion issues. Instead, he focused on the ground beneath us, seeing the Earth as an immense reservoir capable of becoming a conductor for electrical transmission. This concept, which is the cornerstone of Swear, was seen as revolutionary at the time and continues to influence electrical distribution systems today. Understanding Tesla's vision requires us to delve deeper into the realm of high voltage electricity. Remember when we talked about power loss and voltage drop? Well, these are current dependent, with power loss being calculated as P loss equals R times current squared. Tesla's approach was to significantly increase the voltage, thus reducing the current, which would in turn eliminate the touch voltage issues. This is because the voltage drop across any distance across the earth ultimately goes to zero. This principle takes into account the increased resistance of the soil. So, if we step up the voltage by three orders of magnitude from the typical 100,000 volts of transmission lines to the 50 to 100 million volts Tesla suggested with his magnifying transmitter, the current would scale down by a factor of 1 1,000th. 1, and here's the magic, because power loss is proportional to the square of the current. When the current drops by 1 1,000th, the power loss drops by a staggering 1 1 millionth of what it would be through copper lines. Even if the earth wire being used was just the diameter of the copper wire, the soil could have a resistance million times that of copper, and it would still have the same power loss over the same distance. And there's more. The earth won't have inductive and capacitive impedance losses, unlike suspended transmission wires. Moreover, the resistance is inversely proportional to the conductive area. So when using the entire area of the Earth to conduct electricity, the resistance plummets and the power loss scales proportionally, with this reduced resistance due to increased conductive area. So in essence, Tesla's high voltage approach could potentially solve many of the power loss issues we face with today's electrical distribution systems. It's a radical idea, but one that could revolutionize the way we transmit power, making it more efficient and sustainable. Tesla's most radical vision was to conceptualize the Earth itself as the single wire for the simultaneous transmission of power and information. The Earth is filled with conductive materials like water and various minerals that facilitate the flow of electrical currents. By utilizing the Earth itself, the entire planet will become an interconnected energy and information network without the limitations posed by traditional infrastructure. Although Tesla's invention of single wire transmission did not achieve immediate widespread implementation, it was a precursor to his ultimate aim the wireless transmission of energy and information through Earth. Imagine rural areas gaining effortless access to power, or the possibility of transmitting vast amounts of data without the need for extensive and costly infrastructure.